Maharashtra accounted for one third of the COVID-19 cases in India. The second most populated state with the highest GDP was brought to a grinding halt. Outdated laws rendered existing measures inadequate. The pandemic exposed the fault lines in all systems, be it courts, schools or prisons. The crisis has unequivocally demonstrated the pressing need for better laws. To address this, Vidhi is launching a Maharashtra state office which started work on the necessary legal reforms in 2020. At Vidhi Maharashtra, we are researching and talking about legal reforms that are specific to the state. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the existence of archaic laws deterred the efficiency of health workers, municipal corporations and the governance structures. While the pandemic has changed certain frameworks permanently, the conversation on writing better laws for better governance continues. COVID-19 has changed how governance structures will interact with the community and environment permanently. Critically, it has underlined the key role of state governments in India's constitutional setup. We need to start the conversation now on strengthening systems not just in Maharashtra, but in all states to prevent such destruction in the future. Bithi Maharashtra's briefing book contains 15 suggested legal reforms for the state of Maharashtra. These reforms span a wide range of issues. For example, Maharashtra till date does not have a specific law or legislation for public health emergencies. Or, on another note, street vendors' livelihoods have been affected by government orders that prevented them from renting. Due to a lack of clarity in laws, these street vendors were not able to assert their rights completely. These are some of the pertinent issues that the briefing book has addressed. The state office will be officially launched with a discussion on these reforms captured in the briefing book on Tuesday, 29 June. For more details, visit the Vidhi website.